Listen. If you think about it, isn't the, the things that they say about black men are not valid. You know, um, globally, the biggest threat to to humans are old white males. You know, if you really think about it, black men don't do anything to no one but themselves. You know, so when you get on the elevator, you have no reason to clinch your purse. What we should do is clinch our culture. You, you feel what I'm saying? Like, we're not the threat. But to make them feel better about what they do to people globally. And what I always do is I, I ask people, I said, you know, Native Americans are indigenous to this land. I said, but when the last time you seen a Native American in Gar? Buffaloes are indigenous to this land. When the last time you seen a buffalo? Because white men killed them all. You know, you, you go just about anywhere on this globe, man. You look at uh, um, the Tasmanian people. They literally don't exist anymore because of white men. But because they control history and they control the news and they control the magazines, they are able to forecast who they want to be the true threat. And perception is a motherfucker. And the sad thing is that we've bought into it. We actually believe that we're a problem. And the only reason why we hate ourselves the way that we hate ourselves is because most black people see themselves through the eyes of white people. And they don't notice it. That's why it's so easy to call each other and say, We're in it because we want to act like white men and white like slave masters. Like, why would you want to call yourself the most wretched word that pertains to black people? Why would you want to call yourself a nigga? And we don't even know why we hate ourselves the way that we do. You know, most of the things that we do in fashion are to try to make us look like white folks. I ain't no black. Straighten our skin, straighten our hair. Our hair grows towards God. It grows towards the sun like a plant. Everything that dies grows towards the ground. And black folks do everything they can to kill the male, to, to kill their hair. You know, and, and, and we are the closest thing to God. You can turn on your damn Instagram for this shit. All right. Black folks always say, well, black folks is killing black folks. How we, why are we going to talk about white folks killing black folks when, when black folks killing black folks? First of all, it ain't the same thing. If you my sister, I can talk about your raggedy ass every day, but let somebody else talk about y'all and knock their face off. I ain't talking about you, raggedy baby. Don't jump on me. I see you got ready. You was like, shit, I like you, David Bella, but, 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 but the fact is this. I'm going to prove to you all right now that that's not true, all right? And you may have heard me say this before. Isn't the central processing unit of a computer based on the human brain? Yes or no? Central processing unit, right? So I taught y'all, or I told y'all before, that culture is about language, history, family, and all of these things, right? So let's say if a computer programmer erased all of the history off a central processing unit, right? And then they uploaded a virus, right? When the computer started freaking out, would you blame the central processing unit or the programmer? Africans did not come over here as niggas. That was a program. We have been programmed. Black folks don't even know why they hate themselves the way that they do. They hate themselves because they've been programmed to want to be a white person. And white people disdain the fact that they can't grow their hair like you. And in actuality, what people don't know, I'm going to tell you something about white folks you may not know. White folks really hate you, not so much, well, they are racist, but for the most part, some white people, a lot of them, hate you because it's survival. You are the dominant gene. If black people keep having sex at the rate that they do, they will annihilate everybody else in the population because you are the dominant gene. If you put a black and a per white person together, you're going to have a black child. You are killing them just by existing. If you want to solve the problem of white supremacy, there's only two things you can do. Praying ain't one of them. Marching ain't one of them. Uh, uh, debating which your enemy is not one of them. There's only two things 
white supremacy respects. It's the loss of life and the loss of finance. It's about you're either going to affect finances or you're going to affect somebody's lives. If those cops felt like if they killed a black man, woman, or child, and something was going to happen to their family or going to happen to them personally, they wouldn't do it. You said earlier that you felt that integration was one of the worst things mm -hmm. that could have happened to black folks. It is. And you speak a language now that um, certainly, um, at, the, at a minimum, talks about a total reliance mm -hmm. on self. Yep. So does that equate to a form of separatism? Well, if you had a child, right, that stayed in your house and wouldn't leave for 500 years, right, would you respect that child? If you know that that child, in order for that child to live, it needed you, um, if it was hurt, and you, you need their food, their electricity, their hospitals, everything about them. It doesn't really matter what that child says to you, does it? Because mm -hmm. they have to do what? Come back to you. Right. See, the, the thing is, before we can be respected by anyone, everything that I'm telling you, the answer to everything that you ask me today is self. Mm -hmm. Religion, socially, business-wise, it doesn't matter. Until we get ourselves together, it really doesn't matter. It is all about self. And then when, you know, when people, when, when it's, it's so funny, and this is one thing that I hate about America, because I love black people don't mean I hate anybody else. Mm -hmm. When I talk about white folks, historically, I can tell you, Rock, you name one place, one place on this earth that an old white man has gone, that the indigenous people of that land hasn't all, if not totally been annihilated, haven't almost been totally annihilated. You have little China, you have little Russia, you have all of these little subsections of America. Why can't we have little Africa? It's not that I don't want you, but I'm just trying to get myself together. But we spend trillions of dollars. If we got ourselves together, that's going to affect them financially. And what did I say that white supremacy hates? The loss of finance or the loss of life.